scientists are raising alarm over the blanket ban imposed on genetically modified organisms by Public Health Minister Beth Mugo. Researchers say the minister's move will cripple research in the country and deny food to hundreds of thousands who need relief assistance. The minister imposed the moratorium in the wake of a study suggesting that GMOs cause cancer. But as Anki Guto now reports, scientists insist the minister's action was misinformed. All GMO food imports are completely banned. The government's blanket ban on all genetically modified organisms or GMOs came as a shocker to many scientists and other practitioners who use these products in their daily work. Scientists say the ban is ill-informed based on what they call a fraudulent survey by the French-based Seralini Research Group. The survey, which the government appears to have relied on, tested genetically modified maize on rats and later found that the rodents developed cancer. But local researchers say the rat used were already predisposed to tumors and cancer. Further, the group refused to release the data for a peer review, raising questions on the integrity of the survey. He used some of the well-known rats that were designed by scientists to help scientists understand how cancer is actually caused in the body. These rats are known as sprung doll rats, so they are already predisposed to cancer. Even the government regulator of GMOs, the National Biosafety Authority, is alarmed by the ban, saying the public health minister should have widely consulted experts in biotechnology before making the announcement. Public health must have had a reason why they suggested that uh, that should happen. Uh, I would say that they haven't shared with us. But perhaps what is more worrying than the alleged lack of consultation on the ban is that it does not only target GMAs or other food products used largely by relief organizations in alleviating hunger, but that it may well affect patients who use genetically modified organisms in treatment. In the area of health, we have humulin, which is the only insulin that is accessed by diabetics. It is actually made through genetic engineering and qualify as a GMO. But the reality is that food can cause cancer, and according to experts, GMAs should be the least of the government's worries. Professor Sheila Okoth, an expert on fungi, says the lack of proper drying facilities for maize and other cereals puts consumers at risk of consuming essentially poisonous food. Right now what we have with the maize system is a haphazard one. Every farmer harvests his maize and sells it, keeps it in whatever way and sells it at whatever manner then we have in between um, businessmen who also uh, collect the maize so you don't know they mix up the maize from the farmers who have handled theirs well and those who have not handled theirs well so along the maize value chain there are many points that we have contamination also probably the government could provide uh, community drying equipment so that the, the farmer can be at reach to facilities of drying and also facilities of storage. The importation of GMOs was essentially legalized by the Biosafety Act of 2009, but many activists have continued to express concern about the safety of the products. They are related by the latest ban, but it remains unclear how long the moratorium will last and what will become of the thriving GMO community in the country. Anne Kiguta for KTN.